One of the most common questions we've had over the last couple of years about Roundup, I mean in addition to Roundup resistant weeds, has been this talk out there that if you have Roundup on the soil and you've been using it for a few years, you're going to totally tie up a lot of the nutrients and they won't get into your plant. You're going to reduce yield and reduce it dramatically. Well, and some of those studies were backed up by fertilizer companies that actually put on one micronutrient or a series of micronutrients. Well, guess what? They're getting gains. Boy, is that a, a big shock. surprise? You know, our <laughs> crops actually use micronutrients. Wow. You know, we've been putting on micronutrients for years on our farm. We're always seeing a gain, whether it's in a Roundup system, a Liberty Ignite well, we can't, system, yeah, but we can't or say that. We can't say system. that, though. We're not always seeing a gain. But consistently over time, there is going to be a gain because we know we're removing micronutrients, just like we know we're removing NPK and sulfur. So the question is, is there tie-up? And actually, last summer, we were at our alma mater, South Dakota State University, and they did a study where they put on like a 100x rate of Roundup out in crop. Now, when you put a 100x rate of Not Roundup... Not over the top of the crop, on the soil, and then planted the crop. They sprayed basically straight Roundup on the soil, just in a small little plot, just to see, you know, what would happen and do a little study on this. And, you know, when you're spraying straight Roundup, Brian, you really have to be concerned about drift. <laughs> they had just a tiny little bit of drift, and it smoked some wheat right next to it. Uh, but it was a very valuable study, and I'm glad they did it. And, and we tried a real high rate of Roundup on some of our ground, too, just in a small little plot plot to see what would happen, to see what kind of nutrient uptake there was. We did some plant tissue analysis in those plants. It was pretty interesting. Yeah, and basically we compared where we had a high rate of Roundup on the soil, and, and this ground hadn't had Roundup on it in the past because we'd been raising sweet corn there, and then we compared it to where we had no Roundup on the soil, and we planted corn and soybeans, and we just wanted to show you what our results were on our farm, because we're always trying to test things and prove things out on our own farm. You know, it's nice to hear these supposed experts that are out there saying, well, you need to do this and you need to worry about that. But I like to test the things ourselves on our farm. So here's what we found. Okay, let's start off with looking at some corn that we planted into this situation. We took tissue analysis at V2, we took tissue analysis at V12 and V16. So with different leaf stages throughout the growing season, we tested what nutrients were in where we applied Roundup at a high rate and where we didn't apply any Roundup at all. And again, the whole point is, if we, we're going to see any problems with just a normal low rate of Roundup and doing this over a few years, certainly by putting a high rate of Roundup on the soil, we should have seen something. And South Dakota State should have seen something. Well, when we looked at these results in corn, we actually had higher levels in the beginning on the V2 stage of nitrogen, phosphorus, copper, and zinc, where we had a high rate of Roundup on the soil as compared to where we had none. So, you know, you look at our results at V12, then you look at our results at the V16 stage, and we found similar things where basically when it came down to it, the nutrient levels weren't dramatically, they weren't significantly different where we had a high rate of Roundup on the soil versus where we had no Roundup on the soil. So we'll do this same test again this coming year, but so far our results, South Dakota State University's results, we've shown absolutely nothing, no difference in nutrient levels in plants, whether you had a bunch of Roundup on the soil or none. We also did plant tissue analysis in soybeans. We did that right at emergence. We did it also at V2 and at V4. So we let that soybean plant get up a little bit, tried it at different stages, looking for nutrient deficiencies showing up where we did the roundup compared to where we didn't. And this was kind of interesting as well. Well, once again, the nutrient levels were about the same going all the way through. It didn't matter if we had a high rate of roundup on the soil or none. And the nutrient I really wanted to point out here was manganese. In a couple of these cases where we did the tissue testing, we actually found higher levels of manganese in the plant where we had the high rate of roundup on the soil as compared to none. And I'm sure you've heard or read in the farm magazines, oh, manganese. That's the Roundup nutrient. If you're using Roundup at all, you're going to have a major problem with manganese. Well, we didn't see that. Now, honestly, on our farm, we've addressed micronutrients over the years, and maybe that's why we didn't see any difference. Maybe it's because we fertilize well overall on our farm. I don't know. But all I know is we're not seeing this big tie-up of Roundup that some people are talking about. In other words, that it's tying up all our nutrients. We're seeing tremendous yields. Our yields continue to go up every year, and we're still using Roundup. Well, there's always some things out there that are scary because really agriculture is not an exact science. We can't always measure everything that's going on in the field. So when we hear these things, a lot of times the first reaction is, oh boy, I'm scared about that. I better quit doing this because somebody suspects there might be some issue. Well, think about it in our diets. Every other day there's something, well, coffee's good for you. Then coffee's bad for you. Then red wine's good for you. <laughs> then it's bad for you. And you know, you think about all this stuff, it's like, oh, come on. We're doing the right things for our farm. If our yields are going up, our soil for 
utility is going up. We're doing the right things out there. Keep doing the things that are making you money and helping your soils. But you know what? In plants and in our soils, it's a lot like with human health, like Darren was talking about here, what do they always say with human health and with diet? Do things in moderation. Okay, It's the same thing on your farm. If you're not going to apply micronutrients for 10 years in a row, well, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a micronutrient deficiency. I don't care if you're using Roundup or not using Roundup. You've got to make sure you're addressing the fertility on your farm properly because if you don't feed the plants, it's just like when you don't feed your body and you don't feed it properly, you're going to have problems. And if you don't have good plant growth out there, what will grow? Weeds will definitely grow in those spots. Weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?